Okay, today our viewer question, uh, they have asked, what foods would you either recommend eating or recommend staying away from when it comes to benefiting menstrual cycles? Oh my, when I was a young doc, uh, first getting into plant-based nutrition back in the 1980s, and I was just learning myself the effect that evolving a plant-based diet has on the body, I was focused on those bad diseases, high blood pressure, diabetes, lupus, et cetera, and was impressed, still am, uh, as far as how a whole food plant-based diet can help those conditions resolve. But what I didn't expect was how many of my young female patients, and by the way, Doc, ever since I went to a vegan diet, my, my periods stopped hurting. Yeah, I, I, I used to just dread them, and boy, yeah, you get a little cramp, a little bit, but nothing compared to what they used to be. And I've heard this now so many times over the years that I really have to say, you know, uh, you know I, I, I assume that it's gonna be a, a predictable phenomenon. Why could that be? There's probably a number of reasons uh, when you, you know, pull out the animal products, you're pulling out a particular fat called arachidonic acid uh, that turns into an inflammatory prostaglandin in the uterine wall. And so uh, the change in fats, thus the change in prostaglandin balance, that could certainly do it. Um, the cows these days, if you're consuming dairy products, the cows are all pregnant, okay? That didn't used to be like that. It used to be when a cow got, when they were, she was made pregnant by the dairy producer, uh, she'd stop giving milk. Pregnant mammals don't uh, lactate. If, the, if a mother fox or a mother mink has just had a litter of nine or 10 little kits, half of them are males. And she doesn't want to give her milk when she, if she's just gotten pregnant again and her body's full of estrogen, it comes out in the milk. And she doesn't want to feed the male kits that she's given birth to milk full of estrogens. So by and large, that's when weaning happens and the, uh, uh, and the, uh, uh, and lactation and milk production uh, turns off when a female mammal gets pregnant. That's the way it's supposed to work. And that's how it worked on my uncle's dairy farm back in the 50s. When a cow would get pregnant, we'd call the guy from Badger Breeders. He'd come out and pregnant the cow. Never a fun experience for the cow. Uh, and she'd stop giving milk. And my uncle would write down bossy number 17 uh, in uh, the dairy barn. She won't give milk till after she has her calf in the spring, nine months from now. That's just biology. Well, in today's modern dairy industry, um, they're milking a thousand cows, 2000 cows twice a day. They can't afford to have their best milkers go offline for nine months at a time while they're carrying their next calf. So they've genetically modified the dairy cows and now they will give milk, even though they're pregnant with their next baby, they're still giving milk and they're sucking the milk off. Well, when a female mammal is pregnant, her whole body is full of estrogens and it gets in the milk. And so the milk of today's dairy cows is full of, uh, and these are official estrogen. These are not the puny little phytoestrogens in soy. They are estrone, estradiol, estriol, pregnandiol, progesterone. These are official mammalian estrogens and they're all full in the milk. Now, well, young women are, are told to, oh, you eat lots of cheese and dairy and uh, yogurt and ice cream for your bones. You need that calcium. And so they're eating all this dairy and they're taking in all these estrogens and uh, makes them go through pre precocious puberty and makes their uterus get big and they get fibroids. And, it make, and when those uteri come time to shed their lining at menstrual time, it hurts like heck uh, for a number of reasons. Well, when you go vegan, you pull out the dairy and those, estrogens, those dairy estrogens drop down to your own natural levels of estrogen. And one of the benefits, it seems that the uterine wall is a lot happier without all those estrogens and periods get lighter and less painful. And so the lack of dairy uh, alone the, from its hormones uh, can certainly help. Um, a couple other things that can help. It turns out that a little bit of powdered ginger, um, an eighth of a teaspoon twice a day, uh, really helps menstrual cramps. So do, so do fennel seeds. It turns out real live, double blind, placebo controlled study, the ground up fennel um, seems to really help uh, menstrual cramps. So if you're really plagued by these cramps, stop, stop the meat, stop the dairy, you know, get on a whole food plant-based diet 
And uh, and if you're just you know if it just still decks you on the floor every month, uh, about a, a week before the period's supposed to start, start uh, taking some powdered ginger and powdered fennel twice a day, morning and evening, with breakfast and dinner. And uh, between the dietary change and the herbal foods, uh, see if uh, that doesn't uh, help those cramps considerably. I think you're gonna have a much more comfortable time. Uh, uh, each time the moon goes by there, uh, you'll, you'll be glad that you made the dietary change to plants. Hi everyone, Dr. Michael Clapper here announcing our new format for our Q&A with Dr. K. Annie Hagen will be asking me one question that's been sent in by our viewers. So if you want to see if your question is getting answered, do join us for our Q&A with Dr. K right here. Hope to see you then.